What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com, and today I have a sponsored review for a product that was sent to me from Rhinex, and we're going to be checking out the Rhinex Smart Tracker. So this is very similar to other smart trackers you've probably seen online before. It's very small, very lightweight, very easy to slip and use with different products, whether it's your bag, your keys, your backpack, whatever it is. So we're going to check out some details about this and talk about my experience while using the Rhinex Smart Tracker. So let's do that now. Okay, so here are basically all the pieces that come with the Rhinex Bluetooth Tracker. So we got an uh, easy start guide right here. We've got some 3M uh, double-sided tape here so that you can use this to attach the tracker to a uh, flat surface, I suppose. I think most of the times you're probably going to be using this tracker, you're going to be probably using the lanyard that's included with it. So it's like a keychain to like a, a rope lanyard that ties to it. And they have like a little guitar pick looking tool here. And this is what you use to open up the Rhinex if you need to uh, replace the battery. So you can actually attach this to the lanyard if you want to. I don't like to do that, so I don't I don't have it in, in attached onto there. I would probably just attach it to my keys like so. It comes available in three different colors. So obviously I have the white version here. It also comes in like a lime green and an orange color. But it's very small, very lightweight. It barely weighs anything at all. It's only about an inch and a half. So it's very small. It has a built-in speaker that you can see right there on the top. I'm not sure if you can see those three holes right there. So that's where the audio comes from. We have our button here. And so that's what you would use if you need to uh, engage the different features. So you can use this as a, uh, uh, for like taking selfies of yourself. You want to use this to control the camera app on, on the phone, which I'll show you guys in a second. You'll use that button to do the shutter. You also press that button if you're trying to find your iPhone. So if you lose your iPhone, you hold on this button, the iPhone will actually start to alert or make a siren noise and you can find your phone that way. Or if you're looking for the keys and you do the, the, the alert on your off of your phone, this will start making a noise and then you can press the button to stop to stop the audio. So setup is really easy with this product. You basically just turn it on and it syncs up right with your phone and it uses Bluetooth. And so since it is Bluetooth, the range is about 30 feet, give or take. So it's not very far. Uh, if you're moving pretty quick, you can get away from it pretty fast before you realize, oh no, I've like I've lost my keys. But I mean, of course, you know probably where where you were last sitting or where you were last probably would have let your keys been sitting. So it should be pretty easy to find. So there are some really cool features in the app that I want to show you guys. So let's check it out on the iPhone right now. Okay, so when you launch the app, you're greeted with all the different trackers. Obviously, I only have one right here for keys, but if you have multiple ones, they'll be listed right here. So we click on the tracker. So here's where you can have some different settings. So right now it shows me the rings and it shows that I have full rings, which means that the tracker is right next to the phone. If I was to move the phone or the tracker a little bit further away, I'm not sure how much further I have to be, but those rings should start to decrease as it realizes that the tracker is further away from the phone in case you're trying to see how close you are to it. So if you're trying to find it, see there it goes, it just dropped a ring right there. So as you get closer to it, the rings will increase, showing you that you're getting closer to the tracker. So when it comes to the ring right here, you can press that. So that's making a noise on the tracker and it starts to blink. And that's how you would be able to find it. So let's say if this was your keys and you can find the keys, you press the ring button right there, it alerts it, it goes off and that's how you would find the missing item or whatever it is attached to. Selfie, this is what you use if you do wanna do the uh, Selfie, you can press the button right here. And there you go, take yourself a selfie. Adds it to your camera roll so you can use it for taking remote images like that as well. So let's get to some other more options here. So we swap, swap over. So here we have, so here's two different alerts, okay? So phone alerts and tracker alert. So you can have it to where both items will go off if it, they get disconnected from each other. So that means like if you were at a restaurant, you walk away and your keys are in your pocket, your phone's on the table, both of them are gonna alert and start going crazy whenever they disconnect. Same thing with the tracker alert. If you enable that, it enables the tracker to go off. So you're basically specifying what device you want to make the alert. So obviously I'd wanna do both in case I, I lose track of either one of those. So we got more details here. You can actually edit the name. You can add a photo if you wanna add the photo. You can disable phone find. So if you, uh, your device cannot ring the phone whenever you, uh, whenever you enable this device. So that's something you would do, I guess, if you want to manually just turn it off while you're out and about. But here's some really cool things too, that you can really do that. I think it's pretty smart in the way they designed this. So obviously, if you are at home, you don't want, your, the, uh, you don't want the alert to be going off when you're at home, right? Because you're at home. It doesn't matter if you're away from your keys, you're not going anywhere. So this actually has a thing set up in here for safe Wi-Fi area, which is pretty smart. So when you click on that, you can specify home, office, office. So when you're at home, you can specify the Wi-Fi router that you use when you're at home, the Wi-Fi you use in your office. So when you are in that Wi-Fi area, it won't freak out every time you walk away from your desk because the keys are in your pocket or your phone's in your pocket, your keys are in your desk, whatever it is. So these are like 
area so you can set it to where it won't constantly be going off, which is pretty nice. You can even have a sleep mode set too, so you can set it to where you know, normally on most days I'm gonna be home by 10 p.m., right? So from 10 p.m. to let's say 7 a.m., whatever the times are, you want it to disable and not alert you whenever you get disconnected from the device. So that's another way as well as you can eliminate like false alerts going off because that's gonna get pretty annoying if it's constantly going off even when you're at home. So you can specify the tones that you want. So all the different sounds that you can make whenever it gets separated from it. And so for the, you can set the duration as well. So however long you want the, the sound to be lasting for when it's going off. So those are different features that we have in the settings. So when you go to the GPS app, it'll show you the actual last location of your tracker. So here's where it gets kind of interesting. Let's say I walk away from the tracker. I get in my car, I drive off. I've completely lost, I don't, I, I don't know where the, my phone is. Let's say I've lost my phone or I've lost my keys, let's say. So then I get on my app and they'll show me this is the last location. This is the restaurant you were when it got disconnected. For some reason you weren't noticing that the alert was going off, whatever happened, it'll show you the last known GPS location. Another cool thing is whenever you do lose your keys, these options change right here and it has a, a, a function here to say um, mark is lost. So if you mark this item as lost, anyone else that has this app and a tracker on them that's in your area that happens to walk past your key fob, it's going to let it know through their network and the network is going to alert your app, let you know, hey, someone just noticed that your key fob is at such and such address or such and such location or wherever, whatever the, the GPS location pops in. And then it'll pop up on your phone and you can go find that. So obviously this is something that works, that'll work very well if a lot of people are using these trackers and they have this app. So that way, if there's a lot of people walking around, they'll, they'll be able to find you, help you find your device. So it's not like a GPS built into it, like with a SIM card or anything like that but it is using a network of people that are using the same device and the same trackers on them, and they'll use their GPS locations to help you ping and figure out where your, your item is at. So those are some really cool features that this, that this tracker features. You know, I, I really like, my favorite things of most of all though is that the fact that it, it, will have, it has a capability to be able to turn off so that way you're not using this at home. Because I've used these trackers before in the past. I eventually stopped using them because I get annoyed by having to constantly turn it on and off when I'm at home and when I'm at work. But the fact that you could do, set this up with, uh, in a Wi-Fi safe area, that kind of eliminates that problem being an issue for you. So pretty, pretty cool product. Definitely recommend you checking out. This is something that you're uh, interested in looking at and, and getting into because I mean, I, I know, I know some people that could definitely use this product because they're constantly losing their keys or losing their purse or losing different devices. So this is something that you could easily attach to lots of different things and keep track of them and be able to find them whenever they get disconnected from the phone. So that's it for me today, guys. If you have any questions about this product, please post them down below in the comment section. If you're interested in purchasing this product, make sure you use my links down below in the description as well. I would really appreciate that. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I got two other clips right here you can click on. Or if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can click on my face. That's it for me today, and I'll see you guys in the next video review.